On this episode of Double Nickel Road Trip, Eddie George and I overland from Seattle Metro to Bozeman, Montana, but not before camping a couple nights in the rainforest of the Pacific Northwest and getting dumped on at Snoqualmie Pass. Subscribe below. Hey, Double Nickel Crew. I am uh, here in Snoqualmie National Forest, uh, seven or eight miles west of Snoqualmie Pass. Uh, tomorrow, I am gonna get my first day of skiing in, hopefully, uh, after I broke my collarbone six weeks ago. It's raining here, it's been, and that means uh, snow, a thousand or so feet. On the Snoqualmie River, And you can see I have the sky camp up. While packing up the sky camp and getting Eddie George carefully situated, it became apparent that my wallet was missing. And it crossed my mind that before setting up camp a couple days ago, I had stopped for a quick coffee at a kiosk about 15 miles back. So I decided to follow the rainbow and lo and behold, my pot of gold was safely tucked away in the shop's cash register. After a hot cup of joe, we headed back westward towards Snoqualmie Pass. Hey, Double Nickel Crew, Scott here. It's been six weeks since I broke my collarbone. It's here at Snoqualmie Pass at their uh, Alpental uh, Mountain. And I'm about to jump on the Armstrong Express. For those of you of my generation, you might remember Debbie Armstrong, gold medal in the 84 Sarajevo uh, Olympics. I believe she was the first woman to win a gold for the US. This is her home mountain, and they named uh, this chairlift after her. So I'm gonna enjoy this nice, wet Sierra cement. I uh, believe they got 17 inches up top last night. The freshly fallen snow was indeed deep, heavy, and sticky. My cousin Tim met me for a few runs, but quite frankly, it was miserably wet, and we both decided to cut the day short. Some 620 miles and 24 hours later, Lexi, Eddie, George, and I, rolled into Big Sky Country and the beautiful town of Bozeman, Montana. When I first arrive at a new destination, I scope out three locations. First, a Starbucks with good Wi-Fi connection and an outdoor area for me and Eddie George to play. Second, it's important for me to find a convenient forest road or a Walmart parking lot to camp. Since the forest roads are still snow covered in the winter, Walmart suffices. And finally, finding a quality dog park to run Eddie George is a must. This dog park in Bozeman is the best I've been to so far. The coolest dog park I've ever seen. Uh, looks like over here we have a pond that's open in the summer. The primary beach. reason we journeyed to Bozeman, however, was to be within reach of Big Sky Mountain Resort and its epic terrain and vistas. Jody, the barista who served me at this kiosk, is from my hometown of Akron, some 1,800 miles away and she dropped some valuable inside information, recommending that I park at the Moonlight Basin lot. It sure is a small world, isn't it?
towering some 3,600 feet above us is Lone Peak and some of the greatest steep skiing in the world. During our first three weeks as travel companions, Eddie George has yet to work up enough courage to jump from his perch. And so today on this beautiful sunny morning, I thought I'd bribe him. Come on, good boy, good boy, come on, good boy, yeah. Eddie's going a little bit nuts with the uh, avalanche mitigation. On my first lift of the morning, I met a local who offered to take me down one of his favorite gladed runs. Darting around the f pine trees and through the deep powder was just amazing. Hey, Double Nickel Crew, lunch break uh, at Big Sky, epic morning. 10,000 vertical in a little over two hours. Eddie here is trying to jones on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's epic. After two more days skiing at Big Sky and a few more based in Bozeman, I can genuinely claim that Bozeman is at the top of Double Nickel Road Trip's top 10 destinations thus far. Hey, Double Nickel Crew, I really hope you enjoyed this episode with me and Eddie George. And please join us on the next as we head back towards Salt Lake City. And if this episode has earned your subscription, please do subscribe, like, and share.